Have you ever wondered how a country can be both a monarchy and a democracy at the same time? Welcome to the United Kingdom, a nation that beautifully blends the grandeur of a monarchy with the vibrancy of a parliamentary democracy. Here, the Queen reigns, but the government rules. The monarchy is largely ceremonial, while the elected government holds the real power. Intriguing, isn't it? Now, let's dive into the fascinating world of British politics and monarchy. The British monarchy wasn't always as we know it today. It began as an absolute monarchy where the king or queen held all the power. But over the centuries, it has evolved into a constitutional monarchy where the monarch's role is largely ceremonial. This transformation was not overnight, but a result of significant historical events. Take the Magna Carta in the 13th century, for instance. It was a landmark document that curtailed the powers of the monarch and laid the foundations for the rule of law. Fast forward to the 17th century, the Glorious Revolution further clipped the wings of the monarchy, paving the way for a parliamentary system where the real power lies in the hands of the elected representatives. Thus, the British monarchy evolved from absolute power to a symbolic institution, giving way to a democratic political system. The heart of British democracy lies in its parliament. Indeed, the United Kingdom's Parliament is a bicameral institution, meaning it has two houses, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. The House of Commons operates as the primary legislative body, with its members known as Members of Parliament, elected by the public. Here, laws are proposed, debated and passed. The Prime Minister, the head of the government, is typically a member of this house. On the other hand, the House of Lords, often referred to as the Upper House, is an unelected body. Its members, the Lords, are appointed. They serve to review, amend and sometimes delay legislation proposed by the House of Commons. Both Houses play a crucial role in lawmaking. The Commons propose and push forward new laws, while the Lords provide a second layer of scrutiny, ensuring the laws are fair and workable. But the Parliament's role doesn't stop at lawmaking. It serves as a platform for debate, a forum for questioning the government, and a place for scrutinising the work of the government. It's where the government's policies and actions are examined, challenged and held accountable. So, while the monarchy may be the face of the United Kingdom, it's the Parliament that holds the real power. It's the engine that drives the country, the place where decisions are made and action is taken. The Parliament, not the monarchy, is where the real power lies in the United Kingdom. While the Queen is the head of state, the Prime Minister is the head of government. This statement is at the core of the United Kingdom's political system. The Prime Minister, chosen from the majority party in the House of Commons, holds the reins of the government. This person, along with their cabinet, drives the country's agenda makes key decisions and implements policies. Even though the Queen appoints the Prime Minister, it's more of a formality, as the individual is already selected by the majority party. The Prime Minister's role is not only restricted to domestic affairs, but also extends to international diplomacy, representing the UK on a global platform. In contrast to the monarchy, the Prime Minister and the government have real executive power. They are responsible for the day-to-day -day administration of the country, making them the actual decision makers. Their actions and policies directly impact the lives of the citizens. In essence, the Queen reigns, but the government rules. This phrase sums up the unique balance of power in the UK's political landscape. The Queen's role is not entirely symbolic. She performs numerous ceremonial functions that contribute to the nation's identity and unity. One of the most notable is the state opening of Parliament, a time-honoured tradition where the Queen delivers the Queen's speech, outlining the government's agenda for the coming year. Keep in mind, the speech is written by the government, not the Queen herself. This is a clear example of her constitutional role. In addition to this, the Queen partakes in various important events. She attends state funerals, presides over state banquets, and confers honours and awards. These engagements, while largely ceremonial, reinforce the monarchy's role in national life. 
Moreover, the Queen's duties extend beyond the UK's borders. She undertakes state visits to other countries and hosts foreign leaders, promoting goodwill and strengthening international relations. The monarchy serves as a symbol of continuity and stability in the ever-changing political landscape. The monarchy remains a cherished institution in the UK, despite the evolution of political power. Today, the British monarchy is a blend of tradition and modernity. The current monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, has been on the throne for over seven decades, making her the longest reigning monarch in British history. Her reign has seen immense changes, both within the monarchy and in the wider world. While the Queen's role is largely ceremonial, she still carries out numerous duties, from meeting with the Prime Minister to hosting state visits. Her public engagements, often accompanied by members of the royal family, serve to unify the nation and maintain strong ties with Commonwealth countries. Prince Charles, the eldest son of the Queen, is next in line to the throne. His role as the Prince of Wales involves various charitable works and public duties. His interests in environmental conservation and architecture have shaped his public image. The younger generation of royals, including Prince William and Prince Harry, have also taken on significant roles. Their activities range from military service to mental health advocacy, reflecting the monarchy's evolving relationship with contemporary issues. Despite the constitutional changes over the centuries, the monarchy has remained a constant symbol of the nation's identity. The royal family's activities, from grand state occasions to charity work, are followed by millions worldwide. Their influence extends beyond politics, shaping fashion trends, social attitudes and even tourism. Yet it's important to remember that the monarchy's role is largely symbolic in the democratic political system of the UK. The elected government holds the reins of power, with the Prime Minister and the Cabinet making the decisions that shape the country's future. The monarchy, however, provides a sense of continuity and stability, linking the present to the past. In essence, the British monarchy today represents a balance between tradition and progress. It's a living testament to the nation's history, while also adapting to the changing times the royal family continues to play a significant role in public life, reflecting the nation's values, interests and aspirations. The British monarchy, while symbolic, continues to play a significant role in the nation's identity and heritage. The United Kingdom's political system is a unique blend of monarchy and democracy. Throughout this exploration, we've seen how the ceremonial monarchy and the active parliamentary system coexist, providing a remarkable balance of power. From the evolution of constitutional monarchy to the workings of the Prime Minister and Government, this system has shown its stability and adaptability over the centuries. The UK's political system, a unique blend of monarchy and democracy, is a testament to the country's rich history and its ability to adapt and evolve.